Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. Uh, today I want to talk just a, a few moments about dreams. And here's my word for you. Don't let anyone pronounce your dreams dead. Even you. Don't, see, a lot of people have pronounced dreams dead prematurely. Uh, some dreams, we have them. And we, if you're like me, if I have a dream tonight, I want the fulfillment of it tomorrow. I, I just, that's my nature, maybe not yours, but that, I want it now. But picture Joseph in Genesis 37. The scripture says that Joseph had two dreams. And both of those dreams were that he was going to be in a preeminent position and people were going to be coming to him for sustenance. And so he told his brothers, his brothers hated him for it. Then he told his mom and dad, and they were also uh, put off by his dream. But then a series of events started happening in Joseph's life. Joseph, after the dream was expressed, then his brothers hated him. And then they sold him into slavery. And then he went to the house of Potiphar and served Potiphar until he was thrown in jail on some false charges. He stayed in jail for several years. And then because he, he knew God and could interpret dreams, he was released from prison. And because he gave the proper interpretation of a dream, he was placed in the second position on, only under Pharaoh in, in Egypt. Now, when you go back and study chronologically what happened, from the time he got his dream until it was fulfilled was 13 years. So my encouragement to you today is if God has given you a dream about what he wants in your life, about what he has chosen for you, about the path he's laid out for you, please don't let somebody come along and say, well, that dream's dead. That's not going to happen. Because imagine when Joseph was in the pit you reckon that his thought maybe was wondering, what about that dream? Here I am in a pit. And then when, when the Ishmaelites came by and he was sold into, to them and they took him and sold him into slavery, I wonder if, he, if the thought ever came to him, what about that dream? And then when he was sitting in, in a, a dungeon, in a prison, I wonder if he ever thought, what about that dream? But you know what? I never hear him say, that dream's dead. And my encouragement to you today on this message in a moment, take a moment to reflect on your dreams and say, you know what? Others might say it's dead. He hadn't said it's dead. So I'm holding on to what God has chosen for my life. Well, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day today. And until we meet again, God bless you is my prayer.